If you want your kid to grow up to be the healthiest, best looking version of themselves, they have to breathe well. Poor breathing in children has been linked to so many things. ADHD, depression, anxiety, poor posture, sleep disordered breathing, orthodontic problems, and poor facial growth. In other words, you don't grow to be as beautiful as you could be. Healthy breathing in children is done through the nose. Let's review. The floor of the nose is the roof of the mouth. The front of the airway is actually the back of the mouth. So the upper airway, this goes right through the oral structures that we as pediatric dentists should be especially concerned with. When we're not breathing through our nose, we're breathing through our mouth. This opens up the mouth, opens up the posture, denies us the benefits of the nasal breathing, and also collapses down the face and affects the position and growth of the jaws. Breathing through the mouth leads to increased cavities, bad breath, and poor gum health. We know that the postural habits associated with breathing and sucking can last your whole lifetime. Pacifiers can encourage nasal breathing and actually be really healthy and helpful for the kids. But if we're using a poorly shaped or poorly sized pacifier, it can actually collapse the jaw. So although you're breathing through the nose, you actually collapse the jaw. And in doing so, you tighten up the upper airway and create more resistance, thus negating any benefits you would have gained from encouraging the nasal breathing. Left untreated, the changes to the jaw from sucking habits increase the resistance of air moving through the nose and encourage mouth breathing, thus are linked to all these negative outcomes we mentioned earlier. So if you want your baby to grow up to be the healthiest, best looking version of itself, you need to encourage nasal breathing and you need to be very deliberate in how you help them manage their sucking habits.